Hi, this is Kevin Alexander with Alta Vista Technology. One question we get often from people who have not been introduced to Power BI is, what is Power BI? They may have heard or seen all the cool stuff Power BI has to offer, but they still don't know what it really is or how to get started. So we're going to talk about Power BI for those of you that would like to know. What it boils down to is Power BI is a data visualization tool to create stunning reports to help you gain insights into your business and help you make business decisions. We all make decisions every day, and some people make poor decisions, but Power BI can help them make the right business decisions. To make those decisions, we need data, and that data can come from all over. Excel, which could be scattered all about the organization, a centralized data warehouse, an ERP solution, a CRM or other line of business system, or unstructured data, such as blogs or videos or images that you may need to catalog. Data can come from all types of places. Power BI's mantra is, you can connect data no matter where it is, and pull it into Power BI to visualize that data. And all that data doesn't necessarily need to be integrated. As long as relationships can be made between those data sources, Power BI can manage the relationships for you. What makes up Power BI? Power BI actually is made up of a couple different pieces. The Power BI desktop, the Power BI service, a Power BI mobile application. And it's good to understand what those components are. So let's take a closer look at each of these. First, let's look at the Power BI desktop. The Power BI desktop is used to pull in your data, massage your data, and then layer on visualizations. You can start using the Power BI desktop today at no cost. Kick the tires a bit, and see what it could do for you in terms of working with data and creating visualizations. And you can download for free the Power BI desktop from powerbi.com. Then we have the Power BI service, which is a cloud service within the Microsoft cloud offerings. The purpose of the cloud service is to drive sharing and enable collaboration. This can be done within or outside your organization. You can share those dashboards and reports out to who needs to see them and allow it to be relevant for those folks. The Power BI mobile application lets you do things right from your phone or tablet, setting alerts as an example. Now that we know what Power BI is, what's the typical flow look like for someone that's using Power BI? Well, first, we create a report in the Power BI desktop. Then that report is published. And then we share the report and or dashboards out to individuals or groups. First, within the Power BI desktop, you need to get some data and then create some visualizations on top of that data. There's a way to do this within the Power BI service, but the best place is the Power BI desktop. And remember, it's free and it offers you the most functionality. The very next thing you're going to want to do is publish that report to the Power BI service. That report that you created on your desktop will get published to the cloud. Now, publishing report to the service may or may not mean that your data is going to be in the cloud as well. There are different ways to handle data and you can refer to the documentation for what those differences are. We're not gonna cover those in this video. Once published to the service, we're at a point now that we can create dashboards within the Power BI service. Dashboards could be a collection of visualizations from different reports that you've created. You can create dashboards to gain insights across applications and the organization. Now you're going to share the report and or dashboards for viewing and collaboration. 
Now, one of the most powerful features of Power BI is that the reports and dashboards that you've created and shared can also be embedded into other applications, such as websites, SharePoint, Microsoft Teams, and other lines of business applications, such as Dynamics 365 and Salesforce.com as an example. To get started, head over to PowerBI.com where you can download the Power BI desktop for free and sign up for the Power BI cloud service for free as well. And give it a try. Stay informed on all that is Power BI by visiting the Power BI blog. So what do you think? Did this help you understand what Power BI is? If you have more questions about what Power BI is, contact us. And if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if this is your first time here, click that subscribe button to stay current on all our content. And as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.